Hello, good day everyone. Thank you for being with us today with this new session of Axel Tech on Air. Thank you, Enrico, for being with me Ciao, for Simona. this new presentation. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you also to Gianluca Righi, uh, who is our director, and uh, uh, Stefano Grego, who organized all these sessions. And thank you to uh, all of you uh, again for being with us. So today uh, we are going to explore actually a, a little bit of a technical matter, yep. uh, which is we are going to show how to update our uh, console Oxygen 3000 to the new um, firmware release, which is the one that also will uh, unlock uh, the new uh, feature, which is the remote uh, um, desktop uh, the remote uh, okay, control controller. Uh, so Enrico, can you tell us uh, before to start and to show how to um, uh, execute the, the yeah. update, can you please just give us an idea of how can we use, how our friends from uh, um, home can use uh, the remote controller? Yeah, okay. Uh, basically, the remote controller is extremely useful for three main scenarios, mm -hmm. let's say. Of course, if you operate from home, so, sorry. Sorry, let me adjust yeah, the mic drop. fix the mic. No, it is. Like this? No. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Better. Yeah, no, the white thing has to go down. Okay, let me I'm keep an, it like I'm this. an expert <laughs> on this. So, uh, okay. yeah, I hope you can hear me. Uh, the three main applications are, of course, uh, when you operate from home. And, you know, we... Yeah, we unfortunately, we know currently, this. Currently, you know... <laughs> we know this scenario we, very well. Yeah. Uh, second, let's say, in any case, you are outside of the radio station and you need mm -hmm. to interact with the console. With that, while the console is unattended, is at the studio side and there's nobody there. Okay. So you can completely take the remote control of the um, uh, console. Yeah. And I would say the third one could be nice if uh, you are in the studio, is a, the radio is in a scenario with the control room and studio. Okay. And maybe you want to operate uh, from the studio, so mm -hmm. all the team, the people, speakers and presenters are yeah. all in the studio side and also the, the operator can move there. So you can take remote control of what okay, uh, from, of the console, uh, which is in the control room. Room, okay. I see. So those are the three typical applications. So let's start. Let's have a look on how easy it is to yeah, to update to uh, update and take advantage of the remote control, which is a Windows application. Yes. So you need a Windows computer to install the software. Okay. Uh, all right. First of all, we need to add this option is free of charge. So it's available yeah. for everybody who already For the customers that already the, have the, the console, it is already available. You can download it. And, and of, course, of course, it for will the be new purchases, it would be already installed. Already in the enabled. New you only have to yeah, install, install the application your, on your computer. Uh, your computer. Sure. So now I have a console next to me. Here you see on the HDMI output, it's just replicating what we see on the small screen. Yeah. We just change the layout. Yeah. Uh, and uh, first of all, as always, uh, you have to update uh, the console. So update, just for to recap, update is always the same operation. Accessing the main menu, going to uh, service, software, and update. So I just press update. I have, I, as you can see, I have the latest release already installed uh, because we did it before. Yeah, sure. So you s proceed as normally with yes. the software update that always gives you new features. And uh, once this is done and the soft, the, the, the unit will be rebooted, mm -hmm. restarted. You just have to turn on your, to go on your PC. Now I have a Google Chrome running in front of me. I just uh, type the IP address, same yes, IP address, which is shown uh, okay, yeah, on the there. HDMI output or on the panel. And uh, I have one question for you, uh, Enrico, and of yeah. course, uh, all the people from home, if you have any question, you can push on the bell here, uh, or you can uh, just uh, use the live chat if you're following me uh, from Facebook. Um, normally, when an update is available, uh, does the console tell it? Shows it, yeah, sure. You have always uh, here in the, in the, in the, let's say, in the screen, the, screen. the main screen, okay. 
here on the lower, at, next to the, sorry, again, next to the uh, software version, next to the current software version, yeah. sorry, let me keep it here, it's more stable, eventually I speak a little louder. So, uh, next to the version, whenever an update is available, it shows also a little arrow. Yeah. That uh, clearly shows you that you okay, can that update. There is a newer version available. Okay. okay. So now I just insert the edit, type the IP address of my console yeah. in a Google Chrome. It shows me the login page. I go with my password. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my password. Enter. Here we are. Okay. Uh, now I'm working with a browser because. As we already show, uh, yeah, explained in the previous, in, in the previous uh, yeah, webinar, sessions. we were introducing the web interface, which allows you at the moment, the uh, all gives you all the feature for consoles configurations mm -hmm. and settings, yeah. save, snapshot, uh, and backup. So far, the remote control it's Windows application. So I go in a service section. You see here there's a firmware and software. Yeah. Firmware is related to the version running on your console. Okay. Software is the one we are going to download. To download. Okay. So it shows you that you have download version 2303. In this case, of course, it yes, will. Yes, we are going, going to renew it Yeah. Uh, the more constantly. and more we add the new feature, I just downloaded it. Once it's done, now it tells me repair. Yeah, because of we already. Mm, it was previously installed indeed. on this computer. Okay. And it will run the, let's say, the, the, the update yeah, the that takes a few seconds. And once it's done, I, I'm able to go to the, my desktop. Here, here it is, sorry. Uh, here, here okay. we are. And this is and the, the icon. icon of the application. Double click. It shows me the, let's say, the, the version running right now. And I can press. Here is the same IP address I was using before. Yeah. Connect. And uh, software and here is it now is. in control of the console. So whatever I do here on the GUI, yeah, it, it is reflects on, the, on the display. Console. Yeah. So now look. I just switched and uh, I can okay. move the fader or whenever I move the fader, the same happen of my GUI. Okay. Vice, vice versa, if I move the fader here, yeah, you it, see it, that the, it the, is the, the LED being starts moved. blinking mm -hmm. and it tells you the the parameter shown on the GUI does not match with the current position of the fader. Okay, so you can. So in case someone is in front of the console, is aware that the settings of this level now has been in some way modified yeah. by a remote guy. You can, of course, move the fader mm -hmm. up and down. It gets the same value set it before, and you, then you can lower and control it from your control surface. The same works also for, let me open, the fader, I take out the PGM and you see now I don't have anything on air. I can turn on my, my microphone, for example, on, and now you see my voice, which is picked by the microphone yes. here on top of the table. And so operating from the remote software is exactly uh, the yes, same than being in front of the unit. Okay, of the physical one. And what about the um, uh, buttons? The, the smart keys. Yes. Yeah, because uh, the, one of the features enabled by the um, by the remote control software yeah. is the configuration of uh, the smart keys. So here I have the and and this is the way using the software. This is the way to configure, configure and set the smart keys. I press the button smart keys again. I can operate with them, enabling or disabling. Okay. Now you see there's and a blinking. See blinking. Depends on the behavior and how this button has been uh, yeah, configured. Co configured. Let's move to the settings. And with the settings, here I can set my, my smart keys mm -hmm. in uh, three steps. Here, devices. I, do have a, I can create a list of devices that 
I want to control or yeah. interact with the console. And this can be our, for example, DJ Pro on Air Radio Automation, which is running yeah, here in the background, automation, okay. our automation. Uh, a third party uh, automation, so something from different brand, or routers in this case, audio routers. So I can redefine, re-change the input and output uh, okay. for special configurations. So here you just double click on your device, uh, I do editing and here you see edit and this is the IP address and mm -hmm. the port of the device that I want to communicate with. Then in macros uh, you set the syntax, the parameters you want to be configured and so this can be a specific syntax for every single device. So let's say a macro or PC, my automation PC commands uh, which is a uh, an automation third party okay. uh, software. So every single line here, we have three command like TCP, P, UDP, and REST. I can here configure my command with the proper parameters. And once this is done, so I have all the possible uh, commands in the last, in this section, I can assign this. Um, commands to a specific key, keyboard, key, um, sorry, hotkey and smart key on my console. So we have two kind of uh, commands can, which can be impulsive or stable, so on and off. And this depends on the device on the other side. And the status on or the status off can be as associated to a specific command that okay. I have created before. So pretty simple of course you yeah. need to, to know how to control yeah, the other software okay. but that's it uh, we are developing now as you see in beta version uh, the triggers and triggers will be the chance that's a nice feature i think we will have to yeah we will have to a discuss new, it uh, a new presentation about over that a new live or maybe in a live exhibition yeah. who knows yeah. eventually <laughs> maybe <Hopefully. laughs> it's our hope in any case okay. then triggers will be the possibility to associate uh, a macro to an event that triggers okay. like opening faders and so on triggers some specific okay great it was a spoiler yeah. uh, so uh, I don't know if we have any uh, question mm, no most probably not but uh, anyway if um, any question should arise we are always here and uh, ready to reply to all your your doubts so you can always uh, write to our um, standard yeah. emails, sales we at exceltechnology.com. We are mm, at the moment, so the software is available now. Yes. So if you download the software, you get all the things I'm sure uh, we were talking about. Uh, documentation, the manual is about to be released, okay, the new version. Okay, we are so updating it. Okay. Prepared. So in case you have any issue, you can write to support at exceltechnology.com. Okay. Perfect. So thank you again, Enrico, for being with us. Uh, and thank you, everyone, who followed us thank today. Thank you, Simona. Thank you, and, everybody. And uh, see you next time. Bye. Ciao.